Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing LCM and HCF problems. In the last session, we discussed a few problems related to LCM and HCF. Now, let's see the first question in this session. See here, if the sum of two numbers is 27, if the sum of two numbers is 27 and their HCF and LCM are 3 and 60 respectively, here, HCF is given as 3, HCF is given as 3 and LCM is given as 60, HCF is 3 and LCM is 60 and initially he said that sum of those two numbers is 27. Now the question what he is asking is uh, sum of reciprocals of two numbers, sum of reciprocals of two numbers. See in LCM and HCF, uh, Whenever HCF of any two numbers are mentioned, whenever HCF of any two numbers are mentioned, then those numbers must be a multiples of HCF. So consider two numbers are 3x, 3y. Why? Because here the HCF is 3, therefore two numbers are 3x and 3y. Now, according to the sentence, sum of two numbers is 27. It means uh, 3x plus 3y is equal to 27. From this, you can common 3x plus y, which is equal to 27. So, you can cancel 3. 3 ones are 3 nines are. x plus y is equal to 9. And one more sentence. Uh, LCM of those two numbers is uh, 60. LCM of 3x and 3y. This is first number and this is uh, second number. LCM of 3x and 3y is equal to 60. First of all, what is the uh, LCM of 3x and 3y? That is 3xy. LCM of 3x and 3y which is 3xy. That value is given as 60. That value is given as 60. 3xy is equal to 60. Now the question what he is asking is sum of the reciprocals. Uh, Reciprocal of first number. 3x is the first number. Reciprocal is 1 by 3x. 3y is the second number. 1 by 3y is second number. Reciprocal. Now, the question is uh, sum of these two reciprocals. 1 by 3x plus 1 by 3y. Which is equal to. Here the LCM is uh, 3x and 3y LCM. 3xy. And uh, here. 3x is there, y is not there. You can write over here, y. Plus, here 3y is there, x is not there. You can write x over here. Now, from this, uh, x plus y, y plus x or x plus y, both are same. We got x plus y is equal to how much? 9. Substitute that value, 9. Divided by 3xy. 3xy is equal to 60. Now, from this, after calculation, you can cancel with 3 table. 3 ones are? 320s. Therefore, sum of the reciprocals, sum of the reciprocals, which is equal to 320. That is the answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here, what is the smallest square number? What is the smallest square number which is divisible by 2, 4, 5, 6, 9? 2, 4, 5, 6, 9, which is nothing but uh, we need to find the smallest square number which is uh, exactly divisible by 2, 4, 5, 6, 9. First of all, find the LCM of all these numbers. Why? Because uh, if any number is divisible by all these numbers, it must be divisible by LCM of those numbers. Uh, here we know that LCM of 2 and 4 is 4. You can uh, remove uh, 2. After that, uh, LCM of 5 and 6, uh, 30. 5 and 6, 30. And next, uh, now you left over with uh, the numbers 4, 30 and uh, 9. LCM of uh, 30 and 4, which is equal to 60. And next, uh, finally, you left over with only two numbers, uh, 60 and uh, 9. Calculate the LCM of those two numbers. Here it is uh, 3, 320s and 33s. Now here it is uh, 23s, 23s are 60, 
180. 180 is the LCM of all these numbers. LCM of 2, 4, 5, 6 and 9. That is equal to 180. LCM of all the given numbers is 180. Now the question is what is the smallest square number? Smallest square number which is exactly divisible by all these numbers. So, you need to check it out all the multiples of 180. As 180 is not perfect square. Let's go for second multiple. That is 360. Next, uh, this is also not a perfect square. Third multiple, 540. Not a perfect square. Fourth multiple, 720. Not a perfect square. And uh, fifth multiple, 900. 900 is a perfect square. 900 is a perfect square. So, 900 is the least or smallest square which is exactly divisible by all the given numbers. Therefore, 900 is the answer for this question. Let's move to the next question. See here, the numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 4. The numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 4. Their LCM is given as, their LCM is 84. LCM is 84. Then find the greatest number. Here, let us consider first number is 3x, second number is 4x. First number is 3x and second number is 4x. What is the LCM of these two? 3x and 4x LCM, which is equal to 12x. 12x is the LCM of 3x and 4x that is equal to given that LCM value is 84. Given that LCM value is how much? 84. Now from this you can cancel with 12 table. 12 7 sir. X is equal to 7. You got X is equal to 7. Here one number is 3X. One number is 4X. One number is 3X and one number is 4X. You got X is equal to 7. If you substitute the value of x is equal to 7, you will get the two numbers. First number. First number is 3 into 7, which is equal to 21. Second number is 4 into 7, which is equal to 28. Here the question is, find the greatest number. Greatest number among those two is 28. 28 is the right answer for this question. Guys, that's all about this session. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.